Bobby. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. How are you doing, brother? Yeah, not too bad. Happy Wick FC, I've heard all about you guys. Tell me more. We just celebrated our four year anniversary, started four years ago. How did it all get started? I spent a considerable amount of time in prison mm. and I missed football because I used to play semi professional before I went inside and I was craving football so much. And I realised in prison, whenever football was on, everyone would behave. It was the one time of the week where the prison, there'll be no alarms going off, there'll be no fights, because everyone wants to be selected and you can only go through some good behaviour. Mm. And at the same time, I was studying for a degree in criminology and social policy that what, was funded whilst you were in prison. Whilst I was in prison nice. And that was funded by the Open University. And it just made me start questioning my own sort of decisions, but looking at the things that affect them. Mm -hmm. So when I was coming out, I was like, I wanted to create something that would give back to the youth and give back to society for the past mistakes that I had made. Mm -hmm. And what better than what I know best, which was football. Yeah, yeah. My whole thing was at first, start a football team and then start working with the youth, keep them off the street. So anyone can start a football team. You can go today, get a group of friends, start a football club, but how do you make a difference? Mm -hmm. So I told all the players that played for my team, you have to volunteer. So they all started volunteering. Um, we used to go run Hackney Festival. We'd done the... Um, local cemetery where we helped mm. out. Even here on Mably Green, when I was first uh, doing here, like all these plants and everything, we, we helped um, lay the no season way, there as no well. Yeah, so, so you are totally embedded in this area? From that, it just took off. And then uh, from that day in 2015, we now got 20 teams, from men's teams to women's team. What? And we're now actually a semi-professional football club playing in the 10th division of British football. So we're playing a furlough, none division one. Wow. But in terms of what we do and the impact we have in the community, we can see that expanding more in terms of keep pushing our, our, our youths into the right direction. So we got the campaign Think Outside the Blocks. Did you come up with that? I came up with <laughs> of that, yeah. Of course you did, of course you So did. basically to get these kids to think bigger than what they can achieve, to think bigger than the gangs, think bigger than knife crime, think bigger than guns and drugs. We're at a time when you're talking about professional football where there's a call for more black managers, more black club owners. Is that part of the motivation to, to do this? Yeah, definitely. I've come out of prison and decided to create my own football team and I can say I'm a young black owner of a semi-professional football club. Thank you. Albeit in the 10th division of British football, but we get to play in the <laughs> FA Cup, the FA Vol. That's the thing, the dream's still alive. Right, I hear you guys have got some sort of award ceremony tonight. Yeah, it's our end of season awards where all the youth, um, for all their hard work, they're um, going to get their awards and we're going to go and celebrate with them, so you guys are coming? Yeah, I'd love to, man. Cheers. <laughs> I like playing for Hackney because I get to make new friends. It's a chance to be part of another family, another community. I met Bobby while I was, while I was in open prison. The club's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I uh, look up to Bobby, he's like a role model to me. I wear this badge with my heart. <laughs> I struggled with anxiety. I come into Hackney Wick, I was able to overcome that. People push you to do your best and they help support you in other things and give you great opportunities. For me, without football, like, I don't know where I'd be. Can I do that again? <laughs> it's a passion to me. It's my vice, it's my love, it's my passion. It's in my heart. That's all I like to say, it's in my heart. Is this what it's about for you, watching those young people really relish uh, the opportunity to play football and just have a space where they can express themselves? I think it's even more than that. I think what it is that a lot of these youths need the positive role models, the wrong role models are being put in front of them, just to see myself as someone that's going to come from that place that I did and sort of turn it around and say, look, you guys can do better than what I did. Sometimes football can be an escapism. You don't know what troubles they're going through at school, at home. So coming to football, we try to make it as enjoyable as possible for them. So it's something that gives them that one time in a week where they feel, you know what, I can be myself. Is the hope that these young people here will now move on to the senior level? Even more than that, we want them to become professionals. And if they can't be professionals, then come and play with us. Some good players out there. 
what's the future hold for you in terms of the kind of players you want to play for this team? I mean, like I said, it's about just giving some of the, these users a chance. We've got a lad that just signed for Tottenham, he's only 13 and scored on his debut. So when we hear stories like that, we think that's amazing for us. It puts us on the map, but what can we do for the other older players? And it's all about giving them a chance. Like we had Jaden who scored his first ever goal in the FA Cup and he's been with us since he was 17. So it's about really pushing on forward and getting the local people that like today you saw many people come to their first ever Hackney Wick game. Yeah, well, look, if you talk about new fans, just telling you. <laughs> nah, I've definitely. Come. Wickers. Come on, Wickers. 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 Wickers.